Oxygen, they answer right back in their map pick of Sunset. And we're headed to the map number three that decided between Oxygen and Sad. Welcome back, everybody, to Valorant Challengers North America. Uber, we just got the chance to see, uh, maybe, is it happening? Is is it going to be Sad taking a tool and then five rounds in a row on the first half? Guarantee that the advantage the whole time was going to go the way of Oxygen. Yeah, I think that... Sad get off to a great start uh, in that first half. I think like, going into the second half, we started to see some of the issues creep in. It feels like Oxygen were taking liberties uh, across the map, really getting uh, a lot of space to sort of do with as they please. I thought Sad did pretty well, it, 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 like fighting on these sites, right? Like really, you know, when they actually get up onto that A site, for example, they look quite good there. The, the way they're breaking in, like a lot of these clips right indicate that, I think. But yeah, defensively, not really making much of this like proactive plays early on in the round, really just kind of sitting and waiting for Oxygen to come to them. And quite often that you know, ended up in them getting unraveled, especially on, on sort of that B side, I think, when Oxygen had like these good fast hits. And the post part is, it's really hard to break in general. Three players sitting back in B lobby, just like shooting at the spike, pinging it out for each other. It's really difficult to do much about that, especially if you're late in that round, you don't have the util to like, flash yourself in through that omen smoke or something similar. So just start to see Oxygen's co uh, confidence and just comfort level on this map in general shine through. And of course, the individuals having some some huge moments here. And oddly enough, like the sand and the post plant, pretty good. They just didn't have many of them. They didn't have the chance to actually, you know, play that part of the round uh, often enough. That's the issue. And sad esports too. And I'm looking at this sunset. I feel like Oxygen, um, after the first little blip, we won't talk about that, but did a pretty good job in kind of scaring sad esports off of things. Even looking at that one way smoke pretty consistently just kind of keep pushing sad esports back and kind of casting a little bit of doubt and sad esports i think is a team that operates best when they have that full confidence to be able to push on forward not that they always have to just go push something aggressive off the rip but when we saw some really successful rounds in haven it was you know what let's just keep on pushing let's get these trades let's get these kills and i think we kind of missed a little bit of that in map number two and to me, more than anything, it was Oxygen and the, the quick adaptation in those runs where things didn't go according to plan right at the beginning. Yeah, you see most of them, 14 of those first kills went their way. But for some of those that didn't really go their way, they were answering really well. One of the rounds that I have in mind is uh, that B hit where is Redux with the Showstopper goes in on the defensive side, goes for an aggressive hit. It doesn't work out with the Showstopper, but he still manages to get two. And it is the flashes, the paranoia that is supporting him and allowing him to get these kills to eventually uh, allow the whole team of Oxygen to close out this second map. I had my eyes on the initiators on Verno, as I talked about before, on Mitch as well. And it seems like they know this map so well, which is something that we've always known. But for this big, bigger test of Sad Uber, I'm happy with what I saw. I'm just wondering if, if they can keep it for that third map. Yeah, again, I, I'm not that upset about it, right? I think they were pretty solid on Sunset. Like I mentioned, I would have liked to see them experiment with some more trap plays, the kind of thing that the Breach really enables you to do. Because if you're not being proactive, then it's it's pretty hard to get value out of that particular initiator. But in general, like looking at their fundamentals, again, I think they're, think they're in decent shape. Uh, you know, I'm definitely looking for Skarn to have a bigger impact going into the next map. You saw them on Haven, right? When they can play a map that they're very confident on, they have good setups, and they also have like a weird comp that is tough for their opponents to sort of react to or break, then uh, they're going to be in great shape. Going on the Lotus, I think it's 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 much the same. You know, it is the kind of map that depend, depending on composition, you can go for some more of those pops, set up some more of those trap plays. But sometimes if you let the game come to you, so to speak, being forced into like retakes and, and rotating into sites constantly can be pretty tough. So I am interested to see uh, how proactive sad can be sad can be excuse me in those early rounds sad on lotus 2 is something that we haven't really gotten to see in stage two of challengers but not to be feared like sad esports they're grinders of a team they have been playing in things other than challengers and lotus is a map that they have run it down on and have had some success on but i think when you're just kind of eyeing this one across the board I'm curious with how sad then can bring that into the Challengers League, going up against an Oxygen that from the get-go has looked really, really strong across the board. They were the first team as well, I believe, to be bringing out this Clove pick, and they've done really, really well on it. So this is definitely a little bit more of an uphill battle now when you're looking at trying to 
claim the series that you started so strong off in. And it's also going to depend a lot on what Sad can do on the attacking side, which they're going to first. And this map of Lotus Oxygen playing the defense, it's more than anything and most highly going to rely on those aggressions that we see towards the A side, towards the C side. For to get enough rounds, maybe four could be enough on the defense. We've seen teams kind of back and forth on it, trying to find out their own way to make this one work out. But for Sad, it's a lot of pressure on this side that has always benefited them, not only in Lotus, but in general, when we see this team you know they want to go aggressive you know they want to go for that aggressive hit on a you know they want to want to fight for mount every single time and so it's a, a, an oxygen that has to be ready for this and uber it there is a possibility that oxygen once they're in that last one once they need to close it out they can get away with it because they know exactly how sad like to play i think so i think there's uh you know plenty of tape to, to sort of look at this sad team i think are kind of harder to anti-strat around instead, but uh, I don't think that Oxygen are really thinking of doing that to, to any team. Uh, they are going to play their own style. They have really strong structures on a lot of these like more commonly played maps, the ones that they're you know trying to get themselves on. I think Lotus is, is going to be no different, right? Uh, I do want to see, like again, how they sort of deal with maybe some of the weird tempo that gets thrown at them by Sad, but um, they look very, very good coming out of Sunset, and I don't expect that to change. They were able to fix it and figure it out on Sunset. Let's see if they can do it in Lotus. Let's jump into the Zippo Agent Select. See if anything is looking different, especially for the South team that we haven't seen here for a long time. Oxygen will continue to play with this Clove and on the other side, that Skarn and Redux head to head once again for the two duelists. Let's see which of the two teams, if it's gonna be Oxygen or Sat Esports closing out the series. Casters, take it away. Thank you very much. Yeah, so Breach and Gecko both here for Oxygen, whereas on the side of Sad, uh, what we consider a bit more of a standard setup here. Another team going for the, the Fade, which is you know, fair enough, and it will be a Cypher instead of Killjoy for Ferbser. Uh, and of course, Dapper in much the same vein here. So get to see a bit more Clove. It's fun. Don't sit on too many maps. Oxygen, of course, kind of team that have been pushing that. Scuba, great player to be in that position. Yeah, I've loved watching Scuba on this Clove pick every single time Oxygen Esports picks up Lotus. I'm not the biggest Lotus enjoyer, but I see Oxygen on Lotus and it's like, all right, you got my intention now. And being able to see just how well Scuba and Verno in particular can play it off of each other, not on this map, but everyone, but especially Lotus, is really, really nice. Again, I want to touch on the fact that for Sad Esports, even if we haven't seen this too much in Challengers, this has been the composition that they have been running in different recent tournaments. And it is a composition composition that they have been winning with. So I'm curious how this is going to be stacking up against this Oxygen Esports at this point that Lotus just sometimes seems untouchable for them. Yeah, it's a very good look for them in general. So folks, our decider map in this series is one a PC between Oxygen and Sad coming out of Sunset. Now in a Lotus Sad are going to be starting on that attacking side and already Scuba looking to play up a little bit here. Plenty of potential to trade one ways on this part of the map as that's where Sad are looking to come out of the gates. Standing ahead. Big difference maker that they have in this map is that Sova dip piloting that. I'm going to be able to get that information right away, be able to clear things out. That's going to be Scuba first around the corner, but Cobra, that's going to be the flank through. Not going to be fruitful though. Instantly <laughs> taken out. Seaside's given up, but so is a member of their team. <laughs> Wild from Scuba has a sixth sense about that one. Beautiful response. <laughs> and yeah, Oxygen, Oxygen going to group up in halls for a flood here out onto the side. Ferbs are sitting back and in a position to take any sort of flank, but it's not going to be the case. Oxygen not really waiting on the breach here, so going to go in without that utility by the looks of things. Verno opened things up well, cutting Sad now down to three players. Cybercage thrown up. Here comes a fault line from the attackers that was in halls. So they are able to play One off that breach util eventually. And Redux pushes back in over the side. It's just going to be Ferbs versus four. And a very solid retake. Oxygen really well drilled. Big reasons why having this breach and this gecko can be so difficult at some point. You get to play a little bit off that breach util. And as soon as the Dizzy gets thrown, not even just flashing, but also pinging out essentially where these members of Sad Esports are pinned up so you can peek off of that around the corner right away. Such a great flood coming out from Oxygen. Combination that works really, really well when you have a team that has this sense of teamwork about them. And we get to see that buy up now. You can utilize this long range as well since this is a map that has some quite long angles. Redux not gonna shy away from picking out that outlaw and posting up towards mound with it. 
Pushing across, able to avoid the fault line. That's huge. Recon comes out, but Darkest runs headlong into that shot. Redux takes the kill. Sad say, well, as we get our ult orb for our troubles here and back away. Obviously, there is a Cypher Cam place pretty deep out here. And Sad are going to slow the pace down a little more now. Tentatively, Koberg looking over towards A long, but Rubble very well held by Oxygen. B, the only real part of the map that's going to allow for somewhat easy access. And even then, Mitch is watching the angle from Baby Door. Even with the information, there's no reason for Oxygen to start getting a little too aggressive. They are going to push up to a nice angle outside A, but don't have to push too much more forward. The cut noise, you know something must be up. And so bad, sure you'll get the information, but that's giving all the information away. The Oxygen, Scuba with a 3k with the Bulldog. And Ferbza again, poor Ferbza. It's always Ferbza left alone. Ferbza once again. See if you can get a pick on the way out, buddy. 30 yeah. seconds left. This is the uh, the, the other edge of the, the Lurker sword, really. Ferbs are now with it all to do. It was up there. Sad couldn't, they didn't have a flash, I think, to get them out of that smoke there at A long. So they throw a recon, hoping that it has a similar effect, trying to get people to turn around and look at it, but it did not work at all. <laughs> Oxygen more than happy to hold their ground there and win the fight out despite losing Verno, and that'll be that Oxygen. Nicely done. Anti Eco is pretty clean. Bring an outlaw and, of course, a vandal into the round three bonus. Not going to be too upset at all whatsoever. Redux with an outlaw in hand. Yeah, maybe you don't have a rifle like the rest of your team. I argue the outlaw, you get to see that kill from the get-go. Almost more terrifying. And sad esports, not really being able to make headway on any part of the map. Even when you're pushing up towards A, Oxygen, they had so much respect. They did not push out off of that site whatsoever. And sad esports are just running into their opening, welcoming arms. They'll get their buy up now, though, and this is going to be a lot more aggressive out towards this A site. A lot of utility throw and Redux. That's going to be an aggressive angle with that outlaw. Try and take advantage around the corner. Going to find the elbow. Stuck. But might be able to get out with the teammates holding his back going out through the door. Ferbster again has been out to get across the map here. We'll see that the seaside is open, but sad to some degree, already committed here into rubble. Trying to get out now, but with the door open, dip. Has to be very careful. Okay, he has been able to get out. And now, of course, with all the work being done by Ferbs over here to lay the pavement for a push over towards C. Sad can head in that direction. I like this idea from Dip as well, going over towards B, just in case there is a defensive flank timing coming out of main and putting him in a position to flank over towards Waterfall. We're here to get that deep. A potential of a lurk through B. There is a trip in the way. So it isn't going to go completely unnoticed. Sad Esports trying back up and just trying a little bit of better positioning now as Oxygen slowly but surely pushing on on forward. There is utility in terms of the breach. So try and hold off just a little bit. The boom boss is going to be giving that information. Aftershock as well. Post will going to be holding on to it. But right now, gets the peek around the corner though before the satchel takes place. Nice right pick. There. Even the score. Oxygen though, been able to take control of the site here. It's going to have to be spam from Mound to stop any potential defuse. Not sure how well it's even planted for that right now. Dapper gives it a tickle. It's only Darkest left. But no chance to defuse. Oxygen run out of time while they're busy fending Sad off with the other hand. They'll keep a gun. But they'll lose the round. Zippo clutch here for Darkest. Sad Esports on the board. Great hold back. He got close, but enough utility to kind of just push on back. Being able to fare them quite well into that. They're not going to come break the econ for oxygen quite yet though oxygen looking quite nice even if it is going to be light shields across the board and it's still sad esports that have a little bit more work to be putting in on that angle instead two guardians to their name as well as that bulldog i like the aggression that they had though and gonna be peeking up against this a site yet again double satchel in this time on the upper of boxes open door Verno has no idea what hit him in a baby door very quickly sheepishly oxygen give up this space but they won't be allowed to escape Redux is so low. The next round, the buy gets a little funky, a little awkward. Dapper here wants to circle and take a position at upper. Because Sad have really syncopated their tempo here, he will be able to get entrenched. Might actually drop down onto that A site. Maybe look to try and get into three or just die instantly to start darkest. Either way, 
It's oxygen now with just the one left. Only scuba. Forced off that line and likely will run into the waiting arms of Ferbsy here if he's not careful. Making a lot of noise here in Baby Door. And that will do it. Dad, go back to back here. Converting and interrupting Oxygen's economy. That aggression that time as well. They still have that flank out towards C, but not rushing towards it that time around. They get their pick towards A. They cut noise. And all of a sudden, a little peek towards Baby Door. That's going to be a head removed. They're just kind of sitting around that A site. Oxygen, they peak, they get taken care of, and sad re-hit, being able to take so much momentum there. And just that isolation on um, the lone member of Oxygen through Baby Door right at the end there and continuously pushing them into Ferbsa was super nice. That's going to be right away a fault line to be pushing sad back. So we're not going to see that aggressive push yet again, but they're still eyeing up. This A long, just a little bit, even if they're going to do it quite quietly. Just Dappy here. I think the cam location got pinged out. He tucked around that corner. Verbs are in order to get to it. Yeah, he knows he has to expose his rear here to the A site. So he's being a little careful about it. There it is. Cam comes up. Dappy sees all of this, though. No confirmation. It was sad whether there is a player sitting inside he's tree here. They're about to find out, though. Here comes the door. Dapper has enough time to recover, though, and he breaks two of them in half. Beautiful stuff with the judge. Spike now loose inside tree, wrapping from the site, though, for the rest of Sad to try and recover it. But Dapper finds another one with the judge, then upgrades to the Vandal. This is supposed to be a bit of an awkward fire round. Dapper couldn't even bring a proper gun in. And he's laying waste to Sad, who are down to two. Still no plant yet. Herbs are decayed down, of course, by that metal. And Skarn going to be kept off the site by the smoke and the mosh pit. Now even getting out alive is in question. Quickly answered. Absolutely not. The entirety of Oxygen pushing that way. What? <laughs> what a play by Dapper. Not much presence from Oxygen over on this A site. Just the one lone Cypher with the Judge over in Tree. They push on through. Man was concussed at one point. There's two people running towards them. Still gets two, gets out alive, and gets a third with the Judge. Should have kept it at that point. Judge was working out great. And Oxygen able to run away with the round from there. Right away, Pain Shell is posed up towards this A. If there was an aggressive push yet again from Skarn. On the box, won't get hurt. And falling even in to the Gecko Goo is only going to be good for just a little bit of damage. Werner now peace off the table. Again, pretty slow advance here for Sad up A-Long. Really taking their sweet time about it. Coburg still with a smoke to work with. That probably goes to stairs right about now. Yes. And instead, Sad might insert Ferbsy here at tree. Where These two players are going to pass by each other. Oh, he's got a cause, but he might become one himself. Yes. Mr. Sands on Ferbs. Uh, some info goes over to Sad. And they do know the Clove is going to be playing at this seaside. I think Scuba knows what's coming. He's backed away, but of course has ult available. So a second bite at the apple, so to speak, should he get gunned down here. And that's why he might look to play aggressively. You get one on the way out, pop ult. Get none, pop ult. That's also gonna work. Redux, that'll be the push on in off of that. Try and capitalize. Scuba, not gonna be able to make use the of the alt here. But Sad haven't been able to push out onto the site fully either. Only have a little bit of a hold. Through the corner. They're so low. Darkest down to 4 HP as well. Uh, Dangerous territory here for Sad, who don't yet have a plan. Oxygen had only the clove on the site uh, because of that ultimate. There's so much space able to be made there by Scuba and left. time bought. Sad have to stick the plant right now. Redux knows it too. Knows there'd be an off angle player. Coburg in a decent spot to watch the push out of Halls gets brought down. Now it's deep into the smoke. Shorty time. What? Redux never saw dip. I think his model must have peeked through the smoke, but he could not see the Sova. Barrel of the Shorty is so small, but peeking out just enough through the smoke or a foot of, I don't know, to give that information away. So low, but unable to capitalize. And Oxygen started off hot on the map. This is going to be the point for the timeout. Just try and get a little bit more realigned as Sad has evened up the score here. Sad, as soon as they started getting more aggressive and had that confidence, it has been so nice. I really liked it. Even if we did get to see this little mishap, 
of coming out here as the two ships pass on the night. Being able to push out onto the sea site after with that information, it was only Scuba that was hanging around and be able to hold just enough. It was a really close round though, so I'm not gonna take the most stock in it, but Oxygen trying to course correct now just a little bit. Time out here, like you mentioned. Bit of an awkward round for Oxygen. They were in good shape though. These are very close fights happening over at the seaside. <laughs> I mean, again, probably feel like Oxygen favored even in that 1v2. Feel like they could have found something there, especially after evening things up, finding Kobek at the back of that seaside. But now, call that timeout. Think about maybe how they're going to play with this thrash. Make use of it. It's taken a long time to get on. What's this? Round seven? Quite often we see it by round three or round four if Gecko play is being fed right all orbs and is having a good game, but Verno being on the quiet side. Still a great chance to really make use of that Gecko kit on this round. Orbs not necessarily the most free for Oxygen if you're looking at this A site and the aggression that Sad Esports has had for it so far. But if they try and get aggressive this time around, Redux already posted up quite far. Popping no around the no corner. It's going to be the flash. You got to dodge the Hunter's Fury, but Fight the down. quick feet getting the kills nonetheless. The ult's going to be taken down and Oxygen better off for it in this round. Now just two left for Sad Esports and Spike not possession either. Burn able to recover Thrash. No reason not to try and use it here. When it becomes available once more. Right so now here. Sad are smoked right off here. and they don't have any way of getting through. We're going to recon through the smoke to play off of again, I think. <laughs> Dip might hope for a ping. Yeah, they're just going to play off of it again. Oxygen are ready for it. Didn't work the first time, nor the second. Oxygen, take a breath. Take a break in that timeout and come back with a really strong round. I like that little adjustment. They know that Sad Esports has continuously gotten aggressive through A and just kind of post it up. You get Skarn around that corner, get him on the box, and it's a little difficult because, hey, you either have to peek up or if all of a sudden Skarn's playing the other angle, you're not going to be having a great time. Redux getting that angle that time around, though, and the util to kind of push Sad Esports back just a little bit was really, really nice. Sad Esports, they're done with that A push. This is going to be a little bit more looking towards that C side. Dart right away going to be forcing Oxygen back. Heavy smokes over towards that entry to C. Sad. I'm convinced that this is where they really want to be in this round. With two players, they're hoping they get a bit more penetration from Oxygen on the A side of the map, but Redux has no incentive really to push up here. No further than Rubble, at least. Okay, Vermin confirms. There's still presence at Mound. That means that Oxygen, no. Sad are still milling about out there. Scuba's going to be ready, of course. Maybe even re-smoke that door. So attacking smoke comes down. This is going to break up the side a little bit. Might be a small gap there. It can be seen through our waterfall. And here it comes. In just a moment. Might be recon through again for Dip. That old chestnut. Here's the fault line and in they come. Scuba banks that off the wall metal. Looks like it connected. And again, Sad have to go elsewhere. This is not working. Keep making some noise. They keep having left. a pivot. Door open. 30 seconds left. They have to push onto something now. They're going to go back towards the C site. No right check in the corner. C. Free farming for Scuba to start this off on the wrong foot for Sad. And time One is expiring. Minute. They have no control over the site. And Verno with two Ferbs again. I has loaned some. No health. No time. Oh. And Redux chasing them down. Oxygen have looked so good after that timeout. Now five on the board. Yeah, not punished as well, Verno, for sort of pushing out of C there to take the players down at mound. But sad again, didn't have a whole lot going on that round. Econ-wise, it was pretty skinny. They were just hoping to get onto the site and do a little bit of damage, but I think it was only Verno brought down after he found two. Scooper obviously sat in this corner finding two. Not always one that gets checked. <laughs> <laughs> Some sometimes you can uh, you can find some value there, and of course Redux ends around. He eventually comes in from that B side of his door and goes to work. But now we're watching this round, probably the most important round of the first half. Is sad have their weapons at a showstopper. Not getting aggressive towards A, but a little bit of noise and post it up as it's going to be a split push yet again. Herbs is going to be taking aggressive positioning, but flash yeah, through still gets the kill anyways. 
Where is everyone? That's going to be a nice way to take a little bit of momentum in the round. And the neural theft is going to get the information on where they want to go. And already, look at how fast they're running over from C. Now, just one player it stays here makes A a really tempting prospect for Sad. But it's a fake. The spike is still headed to B. Kerberg is pushed deep on the A side and then just TPs out. Yep. Two rotators drawn out of position there on the oxygen side. Now Dapper comes back into the fight late. Trip's good. He can play off that to some degree. Koberg took a little bit of damage. Jump spotted here by Dapper. Knows there's a plant going on, but Koberg removes the cypher. At least they get the spike down and have numbers advantage to go into this post plant. Showstopper as well for yeah. Skarn. If things get just a little bit difficult... Not going to need it so far. Redux taken down quite easily. Yeah, no. There is this flank too. This late flank coming out from Ferbza. Get all that information. You have it just on the Long other end. Remaining. <laughs> <God is> <laughs> Was peeking over that angle. I think he knew just a little bit, but unable to capitalize. Verno now forced to be backing up here. Great response from Sad in that round. And Ferbza, I don't think he's going to let, let this go unpunished uh. here. Oh, all right. Never mind me. Cast your curse. Uh, Tagano out of Sand's ha Sad's hands at the very least here. And it's important Verno keeps his. He was obviously one of the uh, right, least good? flash players so, for cash so. on the side of Oxygen, but they can sort of buy up again. That nice little round seven, round eight win for Oxygen has given them a buffer, economically speaking. And then back onto a thrash round. So Verno uh, able to find four kills since uh, the last time he had that thrash up. Now he's going to be ready to let it go again. Still the showstopper for both uh, of these race players. And you'll notice that they've no, not been any fast hits from Sad. Again, they... Really prefer to play to sort of a mid-tempo here. Probe and stand outside smokes, but at some point they're going to go in. We'll see if they try and make use of that raise ult here. As soon as some information is given away, Redux can pop that ult. Fault line tries to slow him down. All the utility to try and slow down. But still pushing on forward. Not only the showstopper kill, but the frag as well on to Dip, who tried to punish the aggressive hopping raise. That esports running away from that C site. They have a little bit of presence over on A. The oxygen, they have not moved at all. This is where Dapper has been posted up. And that's going to be a lot of information. Darkus does have control of tree. Sad. They have to push out onto the site. And I don't think oxygen's going to let them. Paranoia here on Scuba, but the numbers definitely favoring oxygen. Dapper, though, cornered here on the site. Can they play off this dizzy? No, but the Rolling Thunder, almost certainly. He come off soon. Looks like Verna was actually caught inside of that one. Doesn't matter. Redux finds his third in the round after a great ag aggressive play on the C side. And that moment, the kind of thing I was referring to on Sunset that I wanted to see a bit more from Sad, if possible, shows showcases a great way to get value out of the showstopper. Skarn still holding on to his. My side. We're calling another. T we're calling another timeout. This time it's going to be Sad Esports for how to try and make this an equal half onto things. It's a little bit tough because they've been it's been back and forth results with kind of the same plays that they've done they'll try and get a little bit of aggressive to start off but it's kind of back and forth on whether they get punished for it or not and if they don't get punished great they keep pushing on forward the retakes have been a little difficult to hold on to but they've been able to do it the other half of the time they're pushing towards this a they get aggressive and oxygen pops them sad have to run away and all of a sudden, time starts slipping out of their hands until they're forced to be making a play here. Maybe a little bit of aggression, but not quite overstepping could be a good way to be trying to punish. But Oxygen have been playing really well and not really getting too caught up in what Sad Esports has been doing, which is where I think Sad Esports kind of finding a little bit of difficulties. Yeah, on a couple of occasions, right? Like Oxygen have had to go for retakes with like a small number of players. They, you know are losing out sometimes on that A long fight at the start of the round, right? We've seen Ferbs to do some pretty there. ridiculous things. Uh, we've seen a couple of rounds where, like, Dapper yeah. gets rotated over to A and Tree. Like, he has that judge round, that crazy 3k. But uh, they are keeping the breach here. So, a little, little fault line to start right things off of. Maybe a door instantly flung open by Verna to capitalize on, but Skarn gets on top of Rubble here. It is smoked up, though. So, no chance to make use of that burst of speed at the start of the round. We're able to take that little bit of space. Without any harm, though. But look at Oxygen getting a little bit more aggressive. Posted up towards this B. Verbs is not going to let it go unchecked. Holding that angle. And Oxygen running away. This could be the reposition, though. Cry through baby door. Skarn. That's the alt pop. 
And Oxygen, again, forced to be running away. Not going to be able to utilize the rocket. Just kind of thrown it in a little bit of a hope. And now Oxygen, the retaliation. The Thrash missed, though. I mean, it wasn't Thrash looking for... Corner. It wasn't looking for Skana. Oh, I think it just walked straight past him. And this is falling apart for Oxygen. Oh, brother. Wow. Spike planted. That is messy. Verno, last one standing here. Again, money is really an issue in this half for Oxygen. There's just so much to ask for here from Verno. It all fell apart for Oxygen, who wanted to flood back in the A, but don't account for Skarn sat in the corner. Flawless coming up for South Esports. I Last love that aggression, but not overstepping. Kind of coming across. They get a little bit of an angle over on A. They start realizing after Oxygen had backed up from that B push, they can push into there a little bit. And Oxygen, they kept getting forced to be moving away, whether it was by Ferbs' presence outside that B site, or as soon as they try and pivot and go through Baby Door, Skarn has a rocket to then force Oxygen away yet again. That was also a huge thrash that just not checking that corner. Somebody already posted up there and kind of just hurt and that wrap round after was rough. Skarn's not going to get this spot again Spike free. Oxygen are going to be taking control of the space this time around. Yeah, this time they really want to fight for it. Can't blame them either. They got Scuba with ult up. Able just to be One very aggressive remaining. towards the rubble direction. And Mitch is going to be playing that off angle with him there as evidence with that kill on the dip. Now we rinse and repeat. Seen this before. Smoke up this position. Koberg's going to get pinged out inside of it. <laughs> he's, got, he's got nowhere to go at all. At least that have the ability to buy up another round. This was definitely an important one for Oxygen, where their economy hung in the balance. This is the last round of the half here, so put that out of your mind. Is Sad are hoping to at least get even. Not a day for scoreboard reading. Not a day for uh, rounds reading either. Scuba finding three in the round. And that is going to be the half. Seven to five. Switching Oxygen side. edging it out with a pretty solid opener, I think, off that pistol. Uh, even though they lost it. Bounce back in that third round and yeah, get running been pretty close all things considered i feel when i look back at that first half i'm remembering a lot more of how oxygen was able to take this controller where they were able to collapse back onto sad but sad having these five rounds really showcasing what they've been able to bring to the table on a map that oxygen has been showing throughout challengers they've been so strong on now sad are going to be on the defensive and it's going to be an opportunity to try and see what Oxygen has for them. When Redux has been having this good of a game, though, that's going to be someone I'm eyeing up in this attacking hand for the space that he's able to take, the momentum that he's able to push out. Exactly, Sierra. We're looking for that up-tempo raise play that Oxygen have showcased a lot on this map. It's the kind of thing that runs afoul of the Cypher setups on C pretty often, though. So we are going to see Oxygen respected, maybe look to clear the trips. Now they're pulling on out for the time being. Just an insertion of scuba. Info trip, or rather, I mean, the trip to play off of here for Ferbsa. And they are being pulled over to sea purely because of that early pop. And there's no other information for them to, to play off of. Be hit here into what looks like a trip setup. I mean, no one to catch oxygen as they make their way in. The trip's only good for the information, oh. but the you tell him the sounds anyways. Oh. But they're not even going to. That's a trip. And that's going to be the rotate over. And that's going to be a spot to capitalize off of that. Cost for clean, but Oxygen finding their footing are going to be able to clap back. Now numbers advantage three to Four two in this pistol remain. round. Scuba around the corner. The 3K. And now Coburg, but a third of his health is going to be by himself. Trying to push on left. through. Mitch will be able to get this spike down though. Spike like planted. that from Oxygen a lot. They break the trick on B. Pulling people from sad over to that site and then immediately cancel. Go through the door, head to C. It's a bit messy, but, you know, uh, in, in pistols, the clove obviously very powerful. Picking me up gives you that overkill uh, if you can actually find an elimination. So, you know, that Rainer esque sort of snowball effect you can sort of generate in that kind of round. Very, very strong stuff from here, here from Oxygen and just denying sad the opportunity to stack the site against them initially. Yeah, that patient gameplay. And Scuba, I think the entire round was just sat outside that sea, just kind of waiting for that sort of play. And I love the fact that they're making these really, really fast calls to catch Sad Esports kind of off guard just a little bit. Now Oxygen have the buy up right away. A smoke towards this A site. So Oxygen, 
They don't have to be aggressive with the push-up, but they're slowly but surely making momentum. Baby Nora's broken, though, and that's going to give the information away, and it's going to be chaotic from there around the corner. Sadies were trying to get aggressive. Verno with the Vandal in hand. Given Carmine at this point. They get a little bit of advantage. They get, sorry, a little bit of kills. They get two guns out of hand, but only one remaining left for Sad Esports. Yeah, it's sad again coming to this round with, with very little, right? So they just looked to, to stack. They did get a, uh, four players, rather, on the A side of the map. So that's kind of what they were looking for there. Play Forcing Austin to part with a couple of those weapons, but ultimately it plays out like many of these Ecos do. And it is dip now. Scanning the battlefield for some for some <laughs> drop weaponry that he can scavenge. He's like a carrion crow. Gun Trying to make sure you. no one's going to rap on him here and he spots the stinger. Oh, the stinger. I'll take that. It's better than nothing. Revealing area. To try and see what damage you can do at this point. Anyone's on the other end of this door. We've seen the absolute chaoticness Down. that the stinger can have. Bruno's going to be the wrong end of that one. 2v1. One set up for a good post plan to wait. I don't think he's going to have to tie it with the pop around the corner. But still, a nice little effort. And Oxygen, it's not going to be a free round for them. It's not going to be much carried over into the next round. At least it is the one Phantom. So one of the more expensive weapons. I mean, it does make this next round kind of awkward, right? Normally in that third round, you're uh, you know, looking for like a, a fairly strong setup here. But they dropped a Vandal. Oh, this and they couldn't take it out of the round. So, yeah, this is why you have a Stinger by for Redux. Verno, just with the Sheriff. Not the kind of bonus you're going to be looking for now. Is sad, of course, are armed up. They're ready to rumble. And it might be, again, like an early probe for orb control for oxygen over on that mound side. Sad this time around. They have the buy-up, but still playing so well as a team. Three going to make an aggressive play towards that A, but oxygen are going the other way. This can be the trip, but nobody here to really meet them. Bertha has backed up. Not wanting to put himself in too much danger after initially getting oh, yeah. on I a little utility at the beginning of the round. Crash coming on out. That'll be able to start clearing just a little bit. Oh, Four guys catch. lost, but three detained. Can they follow up? Moshpit got to be dumped on the detained players. Who's going to go up? Oh, oh, there no. it is. All three kills gained from it, but Oxygen 9 out of the woods yet. Yeah. Coburg and Dark is going to make their way through, but Mitch we is good for four. Wild spray on the move. Takes down the two remaining players of Sad. And that's about as good as it gets from Thrash. Thrash making up for what we got to see over on the defensive end. Attacking Thrash is a different Thrash. Three detained, stuck in the corner. And the util to be able to punish that. Absolutely incredible. Oxygen, what a fast little hit. Coming out towards the seaside as well. A lot of pressure from Sad over on A and not being able to capitalize on it. And again, Oxygen, they're looking towards the seaside yet again where only Furbs have remains. As for, again, for Sad, over on the A site, nobody's there to greet them. All right, here it is. Back to play from Redux. All right, dip. Turns out this is a pretty nice Hunter's Fury and Furbs was pushed up on the site to stop Wingman. Puts him in an exposed position. But only three up here for Oxygen. Still three deadly players with guns. Something that sad themselves cannot boast. So once spike. again, it's going to be a retake in here from Waterfall. Looks like there'll be at least one player out towards back halls, but Mitch has already advanced up onto this corner. Hope they check it. There's not much you can do about it, really. Mitch, just make sure. Contingency to see if there's a second player to come. Dapper and Verna might opt here just to play from Mound. They have the range, but Dip has grabbed one of those Vandals. One enemy dangerous, remaining. but you have the buddy system. And only take one to clear that spot. Trip instantly calling Skarn out. Dapper gonna make quick work of it past that. Oxygen now. This attacking half cannot be understated. 11 points, two away from closing out this series. The series that Sad started off so strong. Oxygen, this is definitely a way to be putting away the doubt. Sad Esports forced to be taking another timeout. Yeah, look, Sad, of course, start the series on uh, a map of their choosing and one where, you know, they are generally feared. Most teams sort of don't have the bandwidth to ban out their Haven specifically, so they get to bring it in. Changed a lot, though, now heading into Lotus. And this attack side, which, again, typically the easier side of this map to play, especially when Redux is feeling it. Scuba started with, a you know, a huge pistol performance and has converted that here to great aggression, popping out off that C site. 
So I don't have to really figure this out. Again, like they can obviously deal with a lot of these like fast race hits over towards C. They do have the trips set up for that. I like what we saw last round, right? Ferbs that ended up pushing up to stop the wingman. There was a nice Hunter's Fury that came in from that B side. That all worked really well. Unfortunately, it's just stuff that kind of happens on a, a round where they've only brought those pistols in here. So when, it, you know, when the fight gets dragged out a little bit more and their locations become known to Oxygen, it's pretty That's easy to clean them up. Have to see if Sad Esports can make enough of an adjustment after this timeout to try and keep them in this series. Money has not looked the greatest and losing this round, Oxygen would be on match point and soon to close it out after. Again, with that aggressive push up towards A. And again for Oxygen. It's that aggressive push on the C. Verbs like, has to back up every time. You cannot take these, this rampaging Oxygen on your own. But Oxygen aren't going to commit. They're backing out. Yeah, they've done this again, right? Unfortunately, it blows up in their face. The C side actually very lightly held, but Oxygen didn't really fancy playing the post plant over here. So they attempt to beat, push, but Koberg is lying in wait again from Baby Door. Same angle as held most of these rounds with limited variation. Oxygen kind of overheating. It's up to Redux to try and save them. That's three. What aim from this guy? But four. Surely not. No. Darkest is able to shut him down. That might have been close to one of the most ridiculous things I've seen here in challenges. And he almost pulls it off. That is terrifying. Sad esports. That was almost a devastating end to such a close series. Redux pinch in the back of sight. The 1v1's over and over. It's finally darkest to put a nail in the coffin. There was a world, there was a vision. The sad esports barely make it out of that. Satchel out. Have to see if they're rattled going into this one. They're sticking to their normal plan. Oxygen, not gonna be pushing too heavily on A or anywhere, really. Kind of more defaulting this time around. Oh. Yeah, definitely slowing it up. A pace variation here. Last round they went to B, of course, and uh, did not go well at all. Almost had to be bailed out by Redux. They couldn't quite do it. They might attempt to do something over towards A, but again, it's Koberg that's right holding here. it off angle passively, waiting for a push out. And this is just raw I contact from Oxygen. It could go really badly. Showstopper on C, they're trying to sell this. But Koberg, he's seen enough to not be pushed off this angle. Now he backs out. Now there's a question, where's this black cat? They're pushing A, but they've already showstoppered onto C and created all of that space. Koberg falls back to tree, trying to buy some time. It's sad, don't really know where to put themselves right now. They got their one member oh, towards exactly tree, and that right. member taken down. Neural theft after Dapper gets that kill. And sad esports don't necessarily know what's hitting them, but Oxygen has all the information in the world and will be able to try and execute from there. Wingman does get broken though. And the util to try and push them back is sad. 30 seconds left. If they can hold off just a little longer. They got all the utility in the world to do so. A little push up though, and Dapper is gonna be punishing that aggression. Oh, can push on forward though. Rolling Thunder. It's everything being popped right now. Just seconds left on the board. Ten seconds left. They cast around the corner. They're slow. One Not gonna get the kill, eight. though. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Oh, Redux. I'm gonna end with the shorty. Rolling Thunder there. Huge to come up in that round for Oxygen. Uh, and Scuba, you know, plays ahead of it there a little bit. I'm sort of, you know, wondering... Maybe the spacing, not exactly what Oxygen would have liked there, but again, he has ultimate up. He can pick himself up, push into the back of the side. Doesn't win out the kill, but create space for the rest of Oxygen to flight on in. And they're calling a timeout here. Okay. To try and close out the map, I mean, a 13-6 would be incredible. For whatever reason, they've decided to take a pause here, make use of their last remaining timeout. Perhaps they're trying to put something together alt-wise. Filling up the water bottles, anything? Nah, you close it out now. We have this opportunity. You got the timeout. Why not? Would give sad the chance to try and pull something together, which is where I'd be a little bit worried about this. But you have such a lead at this point. And Oxygen have been playing quite well. So I'd be so surprised to see this comeback potentially coming on out. There's a world. Sad if esports have been good on the day, but Oxygen, this just looked really clean so far. Yeah, not uh, <laughs> just that I, I tried to ice. So, oh wait, I think, hold on. 
The scuba DC? No camera there. I couldn't tell if they're like trying to ice the kicker on sand here. <laughs> It's just a, not time to do it, especially because they don't have any ults like they're trying to play off, but they might need to discuss, uh, you know, maybe like the Hunter's Fury being up. Sad are close to like straight up five ultimates here. You know, and those are the kind of rounds that you can deterministically win. But Oxygen want to put this to bed before that happens. Good round for Skarn, who's at times been very quiet today. Comes alive there. It gives Darkest a bit of a tickle with their Hunter's Fury. And into B, go Oxygen. Again, not committing. Elaborate mid rounding from this team. I'm going to run into Furbsy here, who does have the weakest gun, arguably, on the board for Sad. It is in the hands of Furbsy, though, who has been a game changer for this team. One fired shot, the backup, Dizzy on through, and unable to handle the push. Oxygen, we're down for numbers from the count, but that's going to be a great equalizer, and Scar popping the show stock, won't be able to capitalize. Oh, I mean, this is cooked. Surely Dip can't do anything about this. This one is over. Verno follows up on the thrash. And Oxygen take the series 2-1 to one with a 13-6 to six victory on Lotus. Get the closer points throughout the series, but honestly, those last couple of maps, you can see why Oxygen are so feared. It was all because of that last round timeout. No, honestly, though. Oxygen, the first, first map, just a little funny, a little quirky. But Oxygen, when we're looking at this team, they're one of the best, if not the best, for the reason, and really being able to showcase this here. I think, Van, that Bad Esports brought some good ideas to the table, but I think when you're looking at Lotus as a decider against Oxygen of all teams, seems a little cooked from the get-go. One enemy remains. All right, not hearing from uh, Dan Dryad at the Where's moment. Where's our host? Where's our host? Yeah, he'll be back with us. Hey, guys. Hi, you're here. I miss you so much. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. I was watching this game and thinking that everything was going the way that we expected, right? When we see Sad take that map number one, Uber, you said it, you called it in the green room. Yeah, this is going to map three. It ended up being map three, but it also ended up being the oxygen win where they look really good in the map of Lotus. One of the points that I talked about towards the beginning with you guys was how many rounds are they gonna get on that defensive side? The side that's harder to get and take advantage of at the beginning and oxygen with seven, they were more than ready to make it happen, Tara. So, uh, you know, don't worry, I'm here. And also uh, <laughs> oxygen, oxygen are always here. <laughs> They are always here. They are. It was the sad esports that put up a really good effort too, looking at the uh, the nine first kills on their end despite the six rounds won. And they had some good ideas and some good aggression coming on out, but Oxygen really quick to be kind of shutting that down, pushing sad esports back where they had a little bit of aggression and confidence. Oxygen really, really quick to punish just across the board. And you really just kind of have to applaud that for them. Redux having a great performance as well. Always love to watch a raise Redux performance, especially on Lotus. But even across the board, this is an Oxygen that we've always gotten to talk highly about. And that's not really going to change on the day. Uber, I do want to call out for Sad Esports for kind of just how they've turned their split around. Because this is a very different Sad Esports than what we got to see from the beginning. And despite this scoreline, this is a series that there is a world where this was very, very winnable. Oh, 100%. Uh, like, we had real questions about what this sad team were going to look like after the pretty extensive roster changes that they made. It is uh, it is a little dangerous now for them. I, I do want to point that out. They are, you know, still stuck in that two-win bracket, sharing that with TSM. Uh, and they, you know, would find themselves outside of the top eight if things don't sort of go their way here. They actually want, uh, you know, yeah, they, they want to make sure, like, teams like Dobros and Winthrop can't sort of uh, leapfrog them. Uh, sort of jump into that spot here. So they're not guaranteed for playoffs, but it has been a, a great run from them so far, I think, in challenges. Great to see, uh, you know, a couple of looks in the depth on this roster here. But Oxygen is, it's a tall order, I think, for anyone to, to take this team down. And they'd be happy with the map, of course. Sure, disappointed not to take a series. Yeah, as you guys are saying, it's a set that looked really good. And those changes don't, don't always mean one player is better than the other. It's just the player that's clicking and synergizing better with the team, which is what we're seeing for a set right now. And yeah, they don't get the win, but it's honestly a crazy improvement that they've made throughout the season, even though this is the last match. We're going to throw it to a break, though. And when we come back, we have an interview with one of the Oxygen players. Player 
are standing. One enemy remaining. One enemy remaining. Now it is time for that interview and it's gonna be with Dapper nonetheless because we have uh, a Phoenix player now. Something that we were not expecting at all for today, Dapper. Congratulations on this one. The first thing that I want to ask you here is specifically that composition. We talked about in the desk, we were saying, I saw, we don't know if they're gonna play it. The Oxygen, they're playing these for the most part standard compositions and you come up with the Phoenix and the ISO. So tell me about that composition. Yeah, I mean, Bonkar went to like a lot of theory crafting, and he figured I was like the most aggressive player, and everybody else like is kind of towards the back. So uh, we wanted to try it out. I, it worked really well in scrims. I was dropping at least like average at 42 kills. Uh, it didn't work out in the match today, but we're gonna keep it. You know, try to keep it polished for playoffs. I love the creativity and also coming up with something that we were not expecting at all. And yeah, like I said, it didn't really go your way, but it doesn't matter. You get that series. And in general, last series that we got the chance to see from you guys, it was against Dark Zero. The two teams that you guys in Dark Zero are looking the strongest. So what happens after you you lose against Dark Zero to make sure that you get the win today? Uh, you know, just a lot of uh, theory crafting and a lot of talking. Uh... I think we just got to keep like going on some duelist arcs. Uh, I just think against Dark Zero, we weren't confident enough and, you know, maybe some rain is in there will help it. But, you know, it's, it's all up from here. And talking about the team of Oxygen towards split one, we were not putting uh, Oxygen in number one. It was maybe that M80 that everybody was talking about. Then you guys started getting those wins looking pretty much invincible but you yourself where would you put the team now that we're looking towards playoffs and ascension uh we're always confident we always think uh we could win but i'm sure everybody else does that's the spirit of the competitor but uh yeah when we fully lock down we're the best team in ascension i would even argue when it goes into like the vct teams we hold our own really well so you know just pure confidence Something that we and we talked about the Phoenix, but as well, but something that has always characterized you recently has been that Cypher and the Sentinel role in general. Even though you've played a, a couple of the things like the Viper, for example, your Cypher is one of the best, if not the best. What things? What What do you think makes a good Cypher and makes a Cypher that has the impact that you have in every single map? Uh, 
I mean, confidence, good communication, good aim. Uh, a lot of, I feel like Cypher is uh, one of the agents that you have like the most, like the more experience you have on the agent, the better you are because you have a lot of trips to fall back on if they have counters for your normal setup. So uh, yeah, just a lot of reps. And my last question for you here, when, so you, because we're heading to playoffs now, is there a team that you would like to face, a team that you would like to avoid, or are your expectations for what everybody else is going to be doing there? No, I, I, I mean, to win it all, you have to be able to beat everybody. So that's kind of the mindset we're pulling. Uh, give us anybody we want. Doesn't matter. Give us the best team. Give us the worst team. We have to beat everybody. So whoever, whoever we see it against, it's no big deal. Yeah, I mean, you've done it in the past, so I I have high expectations for what Oxygen can do in playoffs. Congratulations, Dapper, once again on this win. This is everything that we have for the post-match interview. We're going to throw it to a quick break once again, and when we come back, we have the second match of the day. The second match of this week, number six, is going to be Fluffy Amers going against Dark Zero. <laughs> They say in life, there are no guarantees. Hmm. They say a lot of stuff like that. Slow it down. Play it safe. Hedge your bets. So what? You gonna listen to that? You gonna stop? Because they can't guarantee you'll pull this off? No guarantee you'll win? No guarantee everything's gonna be fine? your own guarantees. Nobody else will light your way. Start your own fire and keep it burning. And we guarantee you'll have one hell of a lifetime.
face.